Hello YouTube, this is um, the second episode of my 10 gallon brief tank. And yes, if you've seen episode 1, the cyanobacteria has gotten bigger in a day. Um, I'm about to do a water change and I think I said in episode 1, I don't have an RODI unit, but I do use it sometimes at a pet store. So, I got some distilled water. I got 3 gallons, but I only take out 2.5. The extra half a gallon is for uh, topping off the water. I do have uh, some glass on top of here now. Uh, I found some old picture frames and it'll do for now. I will get a um, proper cover. Um, so yeah, I'm going to break this video down. It's not going to be a very long one or detailed, but I'll show you the gist of it. Alright, um, when you're doing a brief tank, if you got invertebrates like those snails and a peppermint shrimp. Actually, I think you can see them a little. We gotta clean the thing up today. Uh, if you got invertebrates like that and you know bristle worms and stuff in your sand bed, you don't want to touch your sand bed. You know, maybe you got some hair algae. You can siphon that out and some cyano, but I'm gonna do it the natural way and let nature take its course. So just stick your tube in there. Do not touch the sand bed. Do not. If you have a fish only, of course, touch it. But if you got got uh, invertebrates going in there, do not touch it. Alright, I'll be back with the uh, siphoning stuff. Okay guys, I'm back. Now, I purchased this from Food Line. I had two of them. Uh, the two and a half gallon jug. It came with evaporated, steamed, uh, distilled ozone water. I didn't go to Food Line today, I got Walmart, and they were only carrying distilled water. It's not as good as ozone and uh, steam evaporated, but it's going to cut out for the job. So uh, what we're going to do is siphon two and a half gallons of water in that, and just throw it down the sink or the tub. Uh, this part, you see, it's not going to go good. I'm ten gallons just going to get in my way. Screw it. We're just going to take my old good old vinyl tubing. Now, uh, if you want, you can use a bigger type of vinyl tubing and siphon it out faster. But it's real simple. And it might not be simple with one hand. But you just put it down lower the tank because gravity has got gra <coughs> excuse me. Gravity has got to feed it. So, you just put the tubing in your tank. Once again, it's the Kinda of hard with one hand guys, so you know to bear with me. Alright, take the tube and you just give it a little suck. Put your thumb on the end. It's just enough for it to feed down. Once you start seeing it running down, you're good. So make sure if you got wood floors like me, don't get it on the carpet I mean the wood floors. Now you can hear that water running down. And you can easily see the uh, water level is falling down. Alright, since I don't want to make this a long video, we're going to come back to you when that fills up. Alright, that was probably like maybe two minutes or a minute. Uh, you can see the water level went down pretty low. Now, I usually don't take out that much water in a 10 gallon every week. It's just I'm trying to fight this hair allergy and the phosphates and, and uh, my traits with an A that problem so you know distilled water is going to do the job uh, took, I didn't take out two and a half exactly but it, you know it's pretty close I didn't want to overdo it in case I messed up somewhere that way I have enough water and enough instant ocean salt I'm going to dump this and get back to you on the salt mix alright All right, guys I'm back now what do you need for a um, water change in a salt gallon reef tank well every system is different so you might not need all this stuff, and you might need more. Now that, I, yeah, I will wash it out. That's salt in there. Uh, Aqua Safe, I refilled my bottle today. I went to the store. Instant Ocean. Uh, three gallons of distilled water. The Ionic two-part system. I highly recommend it. Zooplankton and iodine in the background. Uh, and I got an anemone in there. So, I mean, Bionic can take care of it. It's just, I like to have a little extra. Alright. Well, 
if you got instant ocean, it used to be half a cup of gallon, but now it's a, uh, a cup of gallon in this salt. Read the box directions. I don't know. It might be in all salts now, but the one I got, the last two boxes I've got, it's been like that. All right, I'm gonna pour the water and show you after that because I'm not holding the camera and pouring water at the same time. 